hey what's up guys welcome to webdematics uh, let's start building our multi salary e-commerce website so let's get started okay so let's create new laravel project so i'm here in terminal i'll execute laravel new i'll call it webmall and i will install authentication as well so this flag will generate all authentication related files hit enter so this test test auth feature is available on new laravel installer so maybe that is not available if your installer is old one so it is installing right now so make sure you got latest laravel installer you install new one from documentation so if that uh, this command doesn't work you can just normally run laravel new web mall and then later on you require the new package uh, laravel ui i think from documentation you can get that command okay so project is installed let's open this up on vs code first cd into that web mall okay so now let's open up that on code vs code and let's open this up project on browser so you can do open it up on browser in couple of ways you can run php artisan serve and then open this link or if you are using largon you just need to restart largon so here i got largon i will just reload it so make sure you got if you got this auto virtual host checked it will create a virtual host from the folder name dot test all right so yeah or you can if you are using jamp or any other uh, platform you can search for how to create virtual host so in largon it's quite simple you ju you just make to make sure that you have this checked on and then after you install just reload it and you are good to go now if i go to browser we our folder name was webmall then if i hit webmall.test it will open that up on there you go so we got brand new laravel project with uh, authentication so first step uh, let's create some products and a dummy user so we can create dummy user from by registering and then logging in so as you, as you can see if you want to register uh, here is no bootstrap styling so for that you need to install all npm packages let me make it a bit bigger all right so let's open up terminal so this time i will open up on vs code itself so if you run npm install it will install all the packages which includes axios bootstrap jquery view everything so right now it is pulling in all these packages so while it is pulling in packages we'll just quickly go and download so our HTML template that we'll be using is called Ezon. Yeah, so I've supplied link to this template. So it is a quite nice template built in Bootstrap 4. So you will use this template. You can just download it and keep it for now. To start off, I will just go from very simple design. We'll incre uh, integrate this design later on because i don't want to overwhelm you with all these design stuffs right away so we'll focus on core logic first and then after the core after the main logic is done then we'll integrate this it will be quite easy to integrate okay so it is done so after it pulled all package we need to run npm run dev to compile all assets Whenever we run npm run dev, it will compile everything into the CSS and JS file. Now, if we reload it, we should see all the styling applied. Okay, let's register a new user. All right, so it is saying unknown database. So we haven't configured database yet. So these errors are good thing. It will tell you what to do next. So if you forget some steps. So right now we haven't specified what database we want to use so let's go to dot env and uh, we'll create new database uh, i'll call it webmall and my username and password like 
with this so if you have installed largon it will come with um, sql manager called hide sql where you can easily create database so open up so here i got a lot of database i will create new one called webmall there we go so currently database is empty and then we need to run create some create user table because right now we are trying to register but there is no users table on database that's why it is throwing error all right so let's run php artisan migrate which will migrate which will create these table so those migrations are already on database migrations there we go so if you refresh database it created everything okay so now if we try to refresh and resubmit the form it will create new user and it will take us to home page so in this home page we will display some products so to display products we again need to create a products table so here i have schema so products table will be like this id of product so we might not make a brand for now so i'll keep it very simple for now and then we'll keep adding new thing to it so product essential fields on product table is name description quantity you can have weight price of product is important and status if you want to enable or disable the product yeah you can keep featured field all right so open up terminal so you can use this terminal if this terminal integrated terminal on bs code didn't work so i will now create product model migration and controller so i'll create a model factory as well which is used to create a seed data so i will right away create that as well okay so i'll create everything in one command so psp artisan make model i'll call it product and i'll give all flag so if you want you can search you can do help and you can see what are the options available for this command if you give dash a it will create everything migration seeder factory and resource controller similarly dash c will create only controller factory like so okay so php artisan make model product i'll create dash a it will create everything okay so first of all let's go to products table and create the table so first field will be the name field so name of product product called description all right so we'll have for for now these fields on products table let's create a table there we go so if you refresh you should see new table products table so right now there is no data on this table so let's generate some dummy data using factory and seeder so if you go inside database factory you should see the product factory so this factory is used to generate to fill to seed some data inside the table name so in name column i will generate some random name so this faker is used to generate some random data you can generate sentence with uh, some two words you can specify two for description as well let's duplicate it and let's give description so description will be sentence of 10 words let's give it 20 words okay that's description and similarly price for price we'll choose uh, the number between so you, you can search about uh, laravel faker and you can get all documentation about all these methods available to you 
so it will generate uh, the number between let's generate from hundred dollar to yeah let's say five thousand so once the factory is defined we can use this factory to generate some data so where to where to call this this factory so you can call this inside product seeder so this this might be the right place to call that factory to generate data so we say to the factory okay now let's create some data so factory and then name of factory so basically you call it like so you give name of the model and then tell how many products you want to create let's create a let's create 50 products and then call create method and now you have to call that seeder from database seeder so this is the main file from where all seeder get called so yeah this call let's call it product seeder class so instead of putting it here you can directly put it here as well that that would also work so this is just way to organize these files so yeah so now in terminal if we run psp artisan db colon seed it will seed all products so if you go to database and refresh you should see dummy products okay so now let's show these products in our home page so if we go to web dot sorry web dot psp we should see some default routes so we'll use this home page to show all home related content actually let's not use this welcome view i will just use this route to redirect user to home so i'll just call route redirect so whenever someone visits slash it will redirect them to home page and in home page i will low i will show the products in this blade view so if i go to home controller home controller is just loading up home.blade file so I will disable this auth middleware. So if I disable, anyone can visit this home dot blade file, which is required in this case. So let's go to home dot blade file, and here you got dummy content. Let's open up browser and yeah, so this thing. So I will get rid of this and and then show some products. So right now I'm not concerned about all design related stuff. I will just focus on the business logic first and then design stuff later so i will give s2 and say products i will create a row and in this row i will create some card so i will use bootstrap snippet so by the way i'm using this package let me show you what package i use so you can install this one bootstrap 4 bootstrap 4 snippets so if you type bootstrap for snippet just install this one with 4.5 star and this so it got snippet which will just speed up your workflow all right so once that is installed what you can do is b4 and then dash so if you want card you can just card and i will want in this time card default actually not card default card links with some links as well yeah this one so what i will do is i'll loop through this card and then display all of the card so right now it looks like so i will display some default image there so i'll display this cat image for now so i'll put that cat image inside public folder so reveal in explorer and inside public i will just paste that i will rename it default product and inside this src i will specify that so later on once we got product image we will change it so there we go so this card link i will make it add to cart 
and this link I'll just disable it so now what I'll do is I'll just loop through all of the products and display those so from home controller I'll, pa I'll pull in all products products calls to product I'll use model and let's take let's take 20 of them and get and then pass that variable into the view like so products so this will be the key name and this will be the products so this uh, with this key name will access that variable inside this home you can call it whatever you want all products let's see so now let's go inside home dot plate and inside row will will execute the for each loop b for each so this is the snippet i am using b for each tab and then all products product so it just makes tasks a bit easier and inside for each i'll put that card so if you want to know how i did this b for each so this is the snippet so this is uh, there is one package one laravel you can search for laravel extension pack so this one so if you install this laravel extension pack you'll got you'll get some these blade snippets laravel 5 snippets these five packages in this packages in this pack so after installing that you can execute like b4 is b4 else there are a lot of things that you can do quickly okay so once that is done let's visit browser and let's refresh yeah of course we we always forgot to import this product so what you can do to import is you can just put like so you can do use app product like so import the class uh, also if you, if you want to make this task easier just install new another extension vs code ex extension called php namespace resolver yeah this one so this uh, after installing that what you can do is you can right click and import class do import class or just hit ctrl alt i it will automatically do this thing for you all right okay so let's go again and refresh okay so we got these product and i want to i don't want to take these make this product this much larger so what i can do is i can give them class col let's only show four products in one row yeah if you want you can do call four then it will show three products in one row yeah, i think that looks okay for me okay so next you can replace this title by product name all right so our product we are we are displaying all of our products next what we can will do is we'll add these products to cart and then continue our flow so i'll see you on next video bye